Now let us review ratios and solve these four questions on the page. Write the missing terms. 2 is to 5 equals 2. What is to 15? B is 2 is to 3 is to 4 equals 2. The two blank spaces and then 2. 4 is to 9 equals 2. What is to 12? And D is 6 is to 4 is to 3 equals to 9 is to what is to what? Now to fill in these gaps, we need to find the ratios, right? So the trick is that you have to compare the numbers now with their respective position. So we have 2 is to 5 equals to something is to 15. Now we are given one ratio that is 5 is to 15. Now how do you get 15 from 5? This is what you have to figure out. Then you can find how you are going to get the first term. Now from 5 to 15 you can get by times 3. So times 3 is the ratio in which these two set of numbers are related. So we can have 2 times 3 and that will fill this up. So 2 times 3 should come here. 2 times 3 is 6 and therefore we get 2 is to 5 is equals to 6 is to 15. So that is one way of doing it. The other way is we could write it as fractions that is 2 over 5 is to what we don't know is to 15, right? Now what we don't know we can find by cross multiplying. So we can say from here that this number which is missing number is 2 over 5 times 15. Now we can always simplify it. So 5 goes 3 times. So 2 times 3 is 6 comes there. So that's another way of doing it, right? So this is how we should be solving ratio problems. Now sometimes in ratios we may have more than two numbers involved. Now here for example we have 2 is to 3 is to 4 equals to the two missing spaces. So let me write question marks there. So let's go with the ratio of the known ratio, right? So 4 to 2. So how do you get 2 from 4? Well, you have half of the number, right? 2 is half of 4. So that is how they are related. So let's do half of these numbers. Half of 2 is? So if you do 2 times half, you get this number. So that is 2 times half is 1. Now how about that number? That is half of 3, right? So you could write 1.5 or 3 over 2. So let me write 3 over 2 for the time being. So remember, in ratios, you can get answers which are not whole numbers. They are not wrong answers, right? So you could write them as fractions also. Now here is the one, which is 4 over 9 equals to something over 12. Now this 12 is not related with 4, but it's related with 9. So that is how it is related. We need to figure out how do I get 4? How do I get 12 from 9? So in such questions, converting them to fractions and then finding answers is better option. Now we can do like this as we did here. 4 over 9 equals to something over 12. Now that something is what? That something is equals to 4 over 9 times 12, right? So that can be simplified. Both can be divided by 3. We get 3 times 4. So what do we get? We get 16 over 3. So that is the answer. So we can write here 16 over 3, right? So at times, as I said, we can get answers which are fractions. So as we move forward, be open to write such answers, right? So all the questions which you are going to get from now onwards may not be so straightforward. Let's look into this one. So again, we have a set of three numbers in the ratio form. So we have, this really means 6 over 9 is equals to 4 over what and is equals to 3 over what. So we need to find these two numbers. So the ratio is, you can sometimes do 6 over 9 and then figure it out, right? 
So now it was a better idea to write blank on the numerator so, or when we cross multiply we do get the answer that is we could do like this if I would have written it for example in the other way that is because we want to find this right so we could also have written this as 9 over 6 equals to something over 4 equals to something over 3 right so that becomes kind of easier in this case since we are dealing with a number which is more than 1 9 over 6 which is you can say 1.5 so this ratio 9 over 6 is 1.5 one and a half times right or in fractions this ratio is if I divide both by 3 I get a ratio of 3 over 2 in this case right so we have to multiply by 3 over 2 to get from left side to the right side so we have to that is the constant of ratio multiplied by 3 over 2 gives us the missing terms so what is 3 over 2 of 4 half of 4 is 2 and 2 times 3 is 6 so we get 6 here now in case of 3 3 over 2 will be 9 over 2 or 4.5 so it's better to write 9 over 2 there right so that is how you can find the missing terms in case of ratios but the important thing here is that we need to calculate and write the answers the answers may not be whole numbers as we move forward right so and you can always use fractions cross multiplication techniques to find the missing terms. I hope that helps. Thank you.